Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 143, Associate Table Reference Source. In tip 141, I provided an overview of the Associate Table Reference functionality. It allows you to set the value of a lookup on the row being inserted or updated via a basic or advanced form, without the lookup appearing on the form itself. In this tip, we'll look at the options for where we can get the value to set. In the table or entity reference source, you'll find a dropdown. Both basic and advanced forms have the query string and record associated to current portal user options. Advanced forms also have the previous step option. If you select query string, you'll need to supply the name of the query string parameter. You'll also need to specify if the query string parameter is the ID of the row. If not, then you need to indicate which field should be used to find the row. For example, perhaps the query string parameter contains the name and not the ID of the row. In that case, set the query string is primary key to no, and set the query attribute logical name to the name field of the table. If you select the record associated to current portal user option, then you need to select the relationship in the record source relationship name dropdown. This is filtered to only include relationships between the contact table, and the table that is referenced in the lookup. For advanced forms, you can select a previous step. Then, you'll need to select the advanced form step where you want to pull the row from. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 143 on associate table reference source useful.